on your mark, get set, go. Please stand up behind your bench. Put your mask on. Ho o ma kao. Ready? Mask on, standing behind your bench. Ho o ma kao kao. Everybody ready? Ho o ma kao kao. Hey aloha no pa. Hey aloha no e ku aina. Aina o ke ave no ho i kali i. O ho ku ka no i uka o halaki i. Pili a ka na we we ali i. Ola i ka aina, aina ka ma aina, o ka o hiia, e o ma i ka ma aina, pa ki piki kokona, e yo, e o ma i e. Good. I know that that was longer than it usually is because I forgot part of it, and I, I thought it seemed awfully short. But now I learned that there's, I, I remembered the rest of it, and I wrote it down there so I would have it. All right. Good morning, Ilan. Are you here? Yes, Mr. Cooper, I am here. Good morning, Suheri. Are you here? Yes, Mr. Coulter. Stand up. Good morning, stand up. Good morning, Kimo. Are you here? Yes, Mr. Coulter, I am here. Good. Morning, Leo. Are you here? Yes, Mr. Coulter. I am here. Good morning, Xander. Are you here? Yes, Mr. Coulter. Are you here? Good. All right. The sun with loving light makes bright for me each day. The heart with sacred power gives strength unto my limbs. In sunlight shining clear, I am reverent. The strength of humankind has so graciously been planted in my soul that I with all my might may love to work and learn. Toward us comes light and strength. From us rise love and thanks. One for the golden sun, two for the night and day, three for me, for here I stand, strong limbs, warm heart, and a clear true mind. Four for the season slowly turning, five for the stars so brightly burning, six for the honeycomb and the bees that make the sweet, sweet honey for me. Let's see, the east is over there, and the stars rise in the east, so let's go this way. Seven for the seven stars in the sky, and the days of the week as they go by. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. At least the Makali'i rises in the east. Ready? Seven for the seven stars in the sky, and the days of the week as they go by. Let me hear you. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, With your fingers. Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then back to six. Six for the honeycomb and the bees who make the sweet, sweet honey for me. Five for the stars so brightly burning. Four for the hip slowly turning. Three for me, for here I stand. Strong limbs, warm heart, and a clear, true mind. And Two for the night and day, one for the golden sun. Great. You may sit down. And we'll say the poem all together. If you can say it while sitting down, then I don't need to make you stand up to say it. Can it wait a moment or no? What is it, sir? When we first started learning it, we did it one, and then back down, and then two, one, two, three, and then three, two, one, and then one, two, three, four, three, two, one. You're right. But it takes a long, long time to do it that way, and I thought it would be 
better just to, once you learned it, just to go up and back down. You like to do it the long way, though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. all right. And it's also really short when you do it. Okay. It's, not too, it's not too long when you do it the short? Yeah, but it's really short too. Yeah. I feel like doing all of them two times. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add some hand motions to the, to the poem. So, um, you know, when you have no money, sometimes people go like this, like uh, they pull their pockets inside out and they say, I have no money. So when the fairies have never a penny to spend, I'm going to go like this. Fairies have never a penny to spend. I'm pull my pockets out. Keep my key out first. All right, ready? Do the hand motions with me, okay? Even though it's kind of hard to do this sitting down. You can stand up if you want to. Ready? The fairies have never a penny to spend. They haven't a thing to put by. But theirs is the dower of bird and flower, and theirs is the earth and the sky. And though you should live in a palace of gold or sleep in a dried up ditch, you could never be as poor as the fairies are and never as rich. I don't, I don't know what to do with rich. How about like this? Never as rich. Since ever and ever the world began, they danced like a ribbon of flame. They have sung their song through the centuries long, and yet it is never the same. And though you be foolish or though you be wise, with hair of silver or gold, you can never be as young as the fairies are and never as old. <laughs> All right. Never as old. Okay. Today is what day of the week is it? What in the world? What in the world day of the week is it? What days are the what what days are the weekend days? Because this is definitely not the weekend because we're at school. Which days are the weekend? Do you remember they start with S, Xander? Um, Sunday and Saturday. Sunday and Saturday are the weekend days. What's that? Okay, go ahead and tell me what day it is. Monday. Monday. It's Monday, and how did you know it was Monday? Because you come here on Mondays. That's pretty easy to remember. M O N. Everyone say D A Y spells day. Ready? D A Y spells day. Say, Mr. Coulter, you forgot the. What did I forget? It goes there. I always say, it. I'm going to put a, a comma. I'm going to put a comma there. Means I have something else to say after that. Monday. Okay, what about the month? Oh, earlier bedtime. Go to sleep earlier. Yawning, yawning. <laughs> Go to sleep nice and early so you're not yawning in the morning. All right. Yeah. Who has a who 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 knows what month it is though? It's the last month of the year. What month is it? Starts with the d, d, you say it. D, d. December. December. Everyone say it's, the month is December. Everyone say that. The, the month, month is December. And you're celebrating because you have the same answer. D E C E. You can spell it with me. M B E R. Well, that's a lot of E's. Yes, it is. One, two, three E's in one word. December what? What is this, the date today? Can you tell by looking at the calendar? Look at the next Monday. We stop, I wasn't here on Friday. I was at home teaching. So we have Friday, and then Saturday, and then Sunday, and then Monday. Do you see it over there on the calendar? Leo was just looking at the calendar. Leo, look at the calendar. There's a bunch of blank days over there. You can, all you have to do to look, is to be able to tell what's going on is to look at the calendar. Well, you'd think it was the fourth, but this says Friday. And the week end, that's what we call the ends, because it's, it's like bookends, you know, holding the books up. These are Saturday and Sunday are like the, the days that hold the week together. 
So here's the school week. These are the this, these two. Hey, Kimo, look over here. These are the weekend days, Saturday and Sunday. This was Friday, so if that was the third on Thursday, what was the date on Friday? Um, I just, I just, um, I just went to Friday. Okay, tell me the date. Seven, the, the seventh. The seventh, and how did you know that this was the seventh? Because, um, I have a calendar at home. Good. And this is Monday. You guys said you're at school on Monday, right? Ilan? There it says Monday. There's, the, there's Monday. So here's the third. Look, Ilan. Fourth. Fifth, sixth, seventh. So today is the seventh. And um, Ilan, don't put your name tag in your sock, you know. <laughs> That's a silly place to put your name tag. All right. So here's what I want you to do. I want um, I want Suheri to put your mask on. Put your mask on and go back to the calendar. And I want Kimo. Put your mask on and come up to the blackboard. And I want you three guys to look at, look at as, as she turns those around, there's, th there's four choices. I think there's only four of shapes. So far, the first, what shape do you see on the first? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, Suhei. What shape do you see on the first? The, the number one there with a the jar of peanut butter, what shape is that? Look up here. What shape is it? Is it a ball, a sphere? Is it a rectangular prism? No. Is it a cylinder? Yes, cylinder. cylinder. Or is it a cube? Cylinder. It's a cylinder, isn't it? Okay, what about number two? Cube. A cube has to be square on all the sides. It cannot have a rectangle in it. So, Hedy, take out number two. Take out number two. Yeah, take it out. Show it to Leo. Do you see any rectangles on the sides? Yep. I do. See how one side is longer? It's tall, right? A cube, a cube has to be like this, Leo. Catch. Square on all sides. Catch, Kimo. That's OK. Ready? A cube has to be square on all four sides. It cannot have any rectangles on it. So it's a rectangular prism. Yeah, you can put it back in. Okay, that's a cube. You're holding a cube. If I gave you a baseball or a tennis ball or a ping pong ball or a golf ball, what shape would that be? Look up there. It's a circle, but it's a special word for a circle that you can hold in your hand. Look up there. I'd say like this. You have to say S and then a sound. Sphere. Who said that? Is that you? Yeah. Sphere. Okay, so that's what the grapes were, right? They're little balls, right? So we're calling those spheres. That's why... Kimo, go to the blackboard and get a piece of chalk, a white chalk. See, so far I have one point for a cylinder. That's the peanut butter. I have one point for rectangular prism. That's the crayon. I have one point for sphere. That's the grapes. So, what do you think will be next? What's your guess? What's the next picture going to be? Maybe a what? You think it'll be a cute, what do you call it? A cube. Let's check. I'm thinking maybe you're right, because one that'll be one of each, right? And sure enough, they've got a picture. Yeah, you can show it to the camera. And show, bring it really close to the camera. See that little, they're pointing an arrow at that piece. Some of those other ones are rectangular prisms, aren't they? And then some other funny shapes, too. But I see... It's pointing to the cube. It's square on all of its sides. How many sides does a cube have? How many sides? Wait, think about it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Think about it. See if you can figure out how many sides does a cube have without counting. Careful. OK. How about Ilan? Um, six. Six? Who agrees? 
Agree? What do you think? Check again. Now count them. You can give one point to the cube. This one says cube. You get a white piece of chalk. Give one point. So make one line there next to that. Good. All right, Suheri. This, 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 this. Leo, what do you think the next one's going to be? That's going to be Saturday. Saturday was the, the fifth, wasn't it? Look at the can. Saturday was the fifth, right? What, what do you think that's going to be? What shape do you think that's going to be? The same shape as the first? What do you think, Xander? Um, I, I wasn't thinking about that. Okay. I think I know how many sides. Is this seven? Count again. Um. Okay, turn over number five, Suheidi. And who can be the first to say what shape that is? Oh. I, I said it. You already predicted, didn't you? Predicted. You can say, I predicted. Do you know that word, predicted? It's like what you think is going to happen. Cylinder. It's a prediction. Uh, Leo predicted it would be a cylinder. What do you think? Is it a cylinder? It's a cylinder. 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 Okay. So that means chemo. Give one point, one more point to cylinder with the white chalk. I see, I see a pattern. What's the pattern you're seeing? That's what I see. I see. What if I said, what if I tried to trick you and said, what's the pattern in this? And if I only said peanut butter jar, crayon box, grape, block, marker, you would have no idea what the pattern was, would you? You'd have to really think hard. I think I would have to draw each one of those things to give myself a hint. But we already know that that's what's happening. So we're talking about shapes, three dimensional shapes. All right, so Andy, what's the next one? Oh, that appears to be another cylinder to me. Not quite a cylinder, though, is it? Not quite a cylinder. A smoothie cup, as someone just said. Well, I have to check my teacher book to see if they're thinking that that's a cylinder. Oh, yes, me too. All right, and today's Monday, so what's the last day? Let's give cylinder another point. Yeah, don't put numbers though, just put a tally mark, okay? Okay, one more, next one. Tally mark, just those little lines. So, a, a, oh my goodness, yummy. Ice cream. What's that? What kind of shape is that? Chemo, just chemo. What shape is that? Of those four choices, which one is it? Yes, rectangular prism. They fooled us, though, didn't they? They have one more, they have two cylinders in a row, unless they're going to call that something else. It's, I would call it roughly cylindrical. That means it's mostly like a cylinder, but not completely like a cylinder. All right. There's a lot of carrying around, a lot of stuff. So here's what I want to do. I want to just make marks. I don't know when you count the days of school. We go one, two, three, four, five, like that. So that's how we're going to do this. So here I have, I want to do two, two there. Oh my gosh. Two. And then we can make it nice and neat. Oh my gosh. If, if I had all those stuff, I would be like, Good morning, Arrow. Nice to see you. Very good to see you. I put those shapes. I put those, what's that, Arrow? Oh, I'm sorry. I, thank you for saying that. That's very conscientious of you. Sorry, I'm late. So these are some of the shapes we have here. And some of them we're talking about in the number corner, and some are other ones, Do different you ones. Uh, ice cream sandwich, that's right. Now, I think that, but don't make noise with that, okay? I think that um, he missed one tally mark, didn't he? Which one did he miss to do? Remember he was going to keep track of everything for us? Which one did he forget? No, we got, but look up there. Is there, are there three cylinders or how many? Oh, you're right, there are three cylinders. Yeah, because All together, there's the peanut butter jar, the marker, and the 
Smoothie cup. Call on, do you know which one you missed? Call on him if he thinks he knows. One more for rectangular prism, right? Because there's the crayon box and there's the ice cream sandwich. And we only have one tally mark for that spot. So, but that glare is really making it hard to see, isn't it? Okay. It's a little better. Okay, Kimo, you can go have a seat. You can go sit back down. Thank you. Day, day. Oh, we never finished this. What do I have to do next? Only Xander knows what I'm supposed to do next? Save the day. Ilan, don't fall asleep. It's okay. Ilan, what am I supposed to do next? Date. What is the date? Look at the calendar. What date? What's the next Monday? What's the one we just turned over, that last one we turned over? The seventh. The seventh. Yes. Arrow, can you look at the calendar and see all that good stuff to play with and eat? I know how many this year has. And each one is a different shape, isn't it? Yeah. Each one is a different shape. Uncle Steve, you could, I put those on his desk just because I was, wanted to see them. Yeah. But you could... You could ask him which one, maybe, which one, because he wasn't here for this first part of that lesson, which one looks like, like which one? I don't know. December 7th. Now what do I do, Leo? What's the next step? What am I supposed to do? What did I forget? Um, oh, wait, here. What did I forget? It's 2020. It's 2020. Oops. What did I forget? The what? It's like a period. It's, got, it's a period with a little tail on it. It's not quite as final as a period. It's like, well, there might be a little bit more to say before I end. Ka. Ka. What is it? Kam. Kama. 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 Okay, so uh, a rhombus. It kind of does kind of look like a rhombus. I can't remember what a rhombus is right now. This second. Oh, a rhombus. A rhombus is not necessarily a square, is it? No. It's a square. Turn into one if you flip it. I think you'd have to squish it. Like if you were super had super strength and you could squish that a little bit, then it would be a rhombus. I have to look it up though, because it is a little confusing. They're all quadrilaterals. There's parallelograms, there's squares, there's rhombuses. I know, I know. If you put two squares together, like that. That would be a rectangle. rectangle, I think, yeah. All right. Now, not every one of you did the, um, not every one of you did this main lesson page with a star in it. So, so if you didn't, if you didn't, Suheri, Leo, if you did not do the main lesson page for five, and you've been practicing your star, yeah, okay, so make a border around the outside. So I only want one star in the middle, just so you know. The main lesson page looks like this for five, if you did not do it yet. And we are going to move on to six today also. So every spare second, you have, Suheri and Leo, you should be working on this. And we might switch to the six soon, but we have, let's, um, I don't have red. I don't have red either. Oh, I have red. You can use orange if you don't have red. Yeah, I don't have red. You can use orange, but I can get you one also. Now, for those, for those who already, you know what 
what color to do. You already know. You already know. You can see. Yeah. Do the blue first, just like every time. All right. Leo, more care. Go slower on your background. I don't want to see that messy. It's too messy. So you did this already. You're going to see it. Ilan, sit up, please. You did your five already, right? Okay, so now I want you to get your blackboard out. Get your blackboard out. Chinese and the Japanese five. And then I wrote it in Spanish right here, Cinco. And I outlined this, this shape in the middle, which has a special name. Hey, Leo. I mean, not Leo. I'm going to help. We're going to practice starting the next one, which is going to be a hexagon. Hold on. Got your pencil? Got your crayon, I mean? I mean, got your chalk? Elon, you just need your chalk. We are going to try to draw a different shape now. For number six, there should be a basket of chalk in there. Yes. So. Look at this, and you can decide what to do next. Okay. How about the big number five, big writing five on the bottom? F I V E. Okay, star, big star. Okay, Leo's Leo's playing along. Ilan, 
We're going to draw a hexagon now. So far, I have a house. Do the, pick a blue, blue, blue for a star. And then, uh, upside down house. Okay. And that is a hexagon. Now practice doing it a few more times to see if you can get it perfect. That's very good. Not on this, not on this page, kiddo. Not on this page, yeah. This page looks like this. Put your Chinese five up in that corner with that where you made that shape. Good. Well, it is a hexagon. It is a hexagon. Look, I can make a hexagon that is like this. Even that's a hexagon. It's not a regular hexagon. It's not a regular hexagon but it is a hexagon nonetheless. All right, we're gonna pause here.